welcome back to a vintage vanity and I am super excited about today's hair tutorial I feel like I always say I'm excited I do don't I don't stop believing me though because I am I am always excited to do a video so yay um, but I wanted to do a video that was a look that depending on how you dressed it up could either be a great like interview or go to work business look vintage style of course or a yeah dress it up sleek it up and you could really make it a fun evening look as well so this is not the hairstyle that we did I know I normally am wearing the hairstyle at the beginning but um I forgot to record an intro and an exit to the video so that is why you are seeing uh, this face right now which by the way how do you guys like it how do you like it how do you like it new backdrop new backdrop Woo! I know be a mermaid in a sea of fish we are mermaids here on this channel which I thought this was the perfect backdrop for us and stay tuned to the end of the video to find out who won the silly curlers now before we roll that hair tutorial footage I do want to say a huge thank you to my newest patrons um, over on my patreon page which you can find a link to in the description of this video over there on patreon you will find extra goodies behind the scenes blog posts and a whole bunch of other fun things are going to be happening over there and the um, patrons start at a dollar a month and they go up from there so go ahead feel free to check that out but I want to take this time really quickly to say thank you so so incredibly much to Cheryl Shannon and also Cecile all right let's go taking a look at that great hair tutorial Today's hair is being done on hair that is about three days from its original wet set. And I did recurl it though using a curling iron. And if you want to know how I get great long lasting curl from a curling iron, go ahead and hit that card. That'll show you my video that explains all of that. First things first though, I do want to tame a little bit of the frizz, especially at the ends of the hair that I have. So I'm going to go ahead and use my pomade. And this is a water based pomade made by Colleen over at Mad Cat Apothecary. She has not launched her pomades yet, um, but any uh, water-based pomade is great for lighter hair. <laughs> it is great for hair that is finer and thinner because it won't weigh it down. Um, but if you have thicker hair, you want to look for a pomade that is wax-based. And I always use the last of my pomade on the top of my head because I find if you use the first of your pomade, you always put way too much on the top of your hair and it ends up looking greasy especially when you're a couple days into a wet set i feel like i'm petting myself good jen good you're such a good girl the first thing we're going to do is find our part and i'm going to go ahead and part it at the corner of my forehead so kind of a deep part all right next thing is i'm going to section off my hair there, I just went ahead and sectioned off the hair from corner to corner, kind of in a U shape. And we are going to actually just pin this up out of the way for now. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush everything back. I want to make sure everything's nice and smooth. So we're going to do this as kind of a low ponytail. Then we are going to take a small section of hair from the bottom of the ponytail. We're going to wrap it around the hair so that it covers that ugly, ugly ponytail holder. Then I'm holding on to the tails of the hair and then I'm just placing in a booby pin to hold that in place. So here's the key, a filler. Um, <laughs> I... I know, right? It's the weirdest looking thing. I actually made this myself because I did, could not find a donut or anything that I liked the size of. Because I like, I like things big. <laughs> um, this is, I know, so saucy. This is a uh, fishnet stocking filled with pillow batting. Yeah. Um, that I just stuffed it up and it you'd be surprised how moldable it is you can make it 
you know, small and round. You can make it. I don't. I know. So versatile. And it's way too much fun to play with. So <laughs> use what you have on hand. The reason why I like using um, fishnet stockings is that you can bobby pin into them without actually tearing it. I'm so. just going to pin this up, ponytail up, so you can see what I'm doing down here. Now I'm going to take this batting and I'm going to place it at the back of my head. And it seems weird, but yeah, test the bend of your head. If you put it too low, it's going to bug you all day long. So I want this to be in a U shape. So I'm going to booby pin up at the corner here. And I'm pinning through the uh, form and into the hair. Do it on this side as well. We're gonna go ahead and actually start to shape the hair around it. And I'm gonna start kind of with it right here in the center and just start to spread it out. I feel like that gives kind of more of an even distribution of hair. And I start by bringing it up and over the top of the foam form. I did not put foam in my hair. <laughs> and then once it's tucked around the end here, I just pop in a booby pin. One of the other nice things about using a, a fishnet stocking or anything that has a texture to it is as you're spreading the hair, you can feel it. So you can tell if your form is actually poking out of the hair and if you need to change it. Again, going up over the form. And we'll be pinning. We're gonna bring this hair now. And don't worry about the ends of your hair. Now that those sides are done, I'm just starting to tuck the rest of my hair all up under there. You to get up under there. You want to make sure that there's a uniformity to your form, that one side isn't bigger or shorter than the other. You also want to make sure that you are covering the form in its entirety. It should feel nice and tight to the head. Anywhere that doesn't, just go ahead and put another booby pin in it. And of course, to finish up, you're just going to spritz it with some hairspray. I run my hands over it while it's still wet. That helps really kind of plaster down any of those little tiny hairs that are flying up. Style this front way any way that you would like. Um, and as you guys know, I like big volume on the top of my head. So... I'm going to take a small section of hair. I know you guys are probably wondering where my teasing brush is that I use all the time in every video. I wonder that too, you guys. I think it ran away from home. It's probably scared and alone there in the big bad world without me, without pink hair to back comb. What's it going to do? So I'm using my teasing comb, which I do like this. I just find it's harder for me to separate sections of hair because this side is the little uh, teasing pick, which comes in great for a lot of stuff. But for this, I am back combing at the base of the hair and going up the strand. So back combing about half of the hair. Giving it a little hair spritz because since we want this to last all day, I am gonna take smaller sections of hair when I'm back combing and I am going to hairspray it between every single little back comb. So it'll take a little bit longer, but it will last all freaking day, like 24 hours. I bet you I could sleep in this thing. Uh, now that that is all back combed, I'm just gonna give it a final spritz let it dry let don't you let it dry now 
that it is dry, we are going to lightly brush the outside of it. And I know you guys are thinking, how are you gonna do that, Jen, without your teasing brush? I don't know, my life is so hard without my teasing brush. <laughs> I guess we now know like what the one item that I would be crushed without is. I am going to use my Denman brush. So basically just use whatever brush that you have. The key to it is always going to be lightly brushing the outside of the hair. So we don't want to brush through the back combing. But you guys know that. You've been here. So I'm always looking to not brush away the volume that's here on the hair. I am going to give it a quick spritz, run my hand over it, smooth in a frizzy. So now that the hair is smooth, I'm just going to brush this hair all together at the ends. And you know what? It's, it's a little, being a little curly here. So let's just, yeah, let's kind of take that curly cue to the back. Like that. And then we are going to bobby pin it right there, trying to get in through the hair, trying to hide that bobby pin as much as possible. And then you can see that this part of the hair is kind of lifting away, which is none too flattering. So I'm going to kind of gently hold it down with my hands. And you got it. We are going to bobby pin right at the base here, because no look is complete, whether it's for the office or not, without a hair accessory. And I am putting in this amazing hair piece from Record Mill. I absolutely love it. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Right? How cute is that? And that is it. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this look. I really love the way this turned out. And I love the versatility of this look as well. So as always, in the comment section below, let me know what you thought of today's hair tutorial. And as well as, um, give me hairspray. Cheap, good hairspray cruelty free suggestions in the comment section I would love to hear them and if you don't have any well then I guess it's just a quest for us to find a good alternative to vintage glam now I am being that impolite person looking away because I needed to remember who won our contest and our contest winner for the silly curlers is Anne Brown Bing, 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 bing. Anne Brown. I will be messaging you through the YouTube system uh, to give you the email address to send me your mailing address. So go ahead and look for that in your YouTube messages. If you're not sure how to uh, get to your YouTube messages, just let me know in the comment section below and we'll figure it out. So thank you guys so much to everybody who entered. And again, if you haven't seen that video, I will link to it right here. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye. Here's where I tell you to do all the things. Click on my face to subscribe to this channel and not miss anything. Click on that logo of that boomerang to go to my clothing line, Atomic Starlet, and follow me on all the social medias. And if you see my latest video, you see it playing right there.